guys! My name is Mimi and welcome to my home base story kung saan lagi tayo nag-share ng mga bagong videos regarding work from home and earn from home apps. So, kung bago ka sa ating channel, please consider subscribing. For today's video, I will share with you kung paano gumawa ng PayPal account and kung paano nyo makukuha yung pera nyo doon. So, make sure you stay with me until the end of this video para malaman nyo kung ano ba yung mga dapat na hindi nyo i-click dun sa portal ni PayPal or kung paano yung mas madaling paraan para makuha nyo kaagad yung pera nyo and kung ano yung mga kailangang requirements bago kayo makagawa ng PayPal account. So guys, tara na! Share ko sa inyo yung screen ko. So guys, ang una nyong kailangan gawin is, is go to their website using your browser. It's paypal.com and makikita nyo tong page na to. Dito sa upper right corner, makikita nyo yung dalawang option na login and sign up. Siyempre, i-select natin yung sign up kung bago pa lang naman tayo. Bibigyan niya tayo ng dalawang option, buy with PayPal and receive payments with PayPal. Ito marami ditong natatrap kasi ang dapat nyo talagang i-select is itong buy with PayPal, guys. Tapos, click mo lang yung next. And then, you will see this page and makikita nyo dyan yung form. So, just Lagay nyo lang dyan yung um, details ninyo. And then, click natin yung next. Okay. Sabi niya, welcome Mimi, let's create your account now. So, lagay nyo lang dito ang inyong date of birth. Ayan. Nationality Philippines. Um, and then, papipiliin niya kayo ng inyong ID for verification. Ganto talaga guys, yung mga e-wallets or yung mga account na ginagawa natin online na related sa money na pinaglalagyan natin ng funds natin. It's normal for them to ask for our ID for verification. And yung driver's license, UMID, SSSID. Ayan, so kailangan nyo, ID na pipiliin nyo is may pangalan, may pangalan nyo na yung ginamit nyo sa PayPal nyo. So make sure you don't use aliases. Make sure you use your real name doon sa ID and sa mga lahat ng documents nyo kung Ano yung binigay sa inyo ng nanay nyo or ng parents nyo nung pinanganak kayo, yun yung ilalagay nyo sa PayPal. Kung yun din naman yung ginagamit nyo sa inyong mga bank account, sa inyong mga online transactions. So, um, dapat yun yung gagamitin nyo na first and last name. So, ayan. So, pwede nyo gamitin si driver's license, national ID, and passport. Ang kailangan lang dito, dapat may picture yung ID nyo, dapat may ID number siya. Dapat may address. Ayan. And, um, I think that's it. Yun. May date of birth. Ayan. So, pwede natin piliin yung um, national ID and yung ID number. So, lagay nyo lang dyan. Tapos, ilagay nyo yung address doon sa ID nyo. Um, fill up everything and click on agree and create account. Ang next nyo nang makikita is itong security challenge. So, click nyo lang na I'm not a robot. Ayan. Tapos, magpapadala si PayPal ng email sa inyong email address na ginamit to confirm your email address. So, click nyo lang yung click to activate account. Tapos, enter nyo lang yung password nyo to confirm. Pwede nyo rin i-add yung inyong mobile number. So, click natin yung not now. Ayan. And then, makikita nyo na itong inyong dashboard. So, once na nagawa nyo na to guys, and na-confirm nyo na yung account nyo, pwede na kayong makareceive ng payment sa inyong PayPal. So, papasok na yan dyan. Meron na kayong PayPal email address that you can send to um, your client or kung sino man na gusto magpadala sa inyo ng pera. And, pwede na siyang pumasok sa inyong PayPal account. So, paano nga ba natin makukuha yung ating funds from PayPal? pinaka-common is we have to link our bank or credit card. All you have to do is just click here. Dito sa dashboard, makikita nyo dyan yung link your bank. Tapos, pwede nyo dyan ilagay yung bank name, bank code, and account number. Halimbawa ako, uh, my main bank is BDO or Banco de Oro. So, pwede natin dyan ilagay na Banco de Oro. And then, mag-autofill naman siya kapag na-select nyo na. Halimbawa, kaya gaya niyan, Bank of the Oro or halimbawa, ang bank name natin is Bank of the Philippine Islands. So, mag-auto-populate na yung bank code, ilalagay nyo na lang yung account number ninyo. 
And make sure guys na yung name dito sa baba is yung name doon sa account mismo ninyo sa banko para hindi magkaroon ng extra fees. Kasi kapag halimbawa may nagpadala sa inyo tapos nag-bounce back yung padala, pwede rin kayong ma-charge kasi meron silang bouncing fees. Once it's already late, pwede na kayong mag-withdraw doon guys. Another method is GCash. Marami sa inyo na ang gumagamit ng GCash. All you have to do is do it from the GCash account. Click nyo lang yung link to your PayPal account do sa remittance. Papakita ko yan sa inyo later. And yung balance nyo dito sa PayPal is pwede nyo na rin i-withdraw sa inyong GCash account. So ganito siya guys. Punta lang kayo sa GCash nyo and click nyo yung My Link Accounts. Tapos, ma-open niya itong page na to and click nyo lang yung PayPal. Enter nyo dito yung email na ginamit nyo sa inyong PayPal account. And then, just click on link. Yan, nag-error siya kasi meron ako account sa PayPal. Pero, ito yung makikita nyo account. Or, or screen, I mean. And, ayan. Enter nyo lang dyan yung login information na ginamit nyo sa PayPal. Tapos, click nyo yung activate. Close nyo lang yan and magsisend sila ng parang confirmation email pero wala na kayong kailangan gawin. Basically, link na yung inyong GCash sa inyong PayPal account. Ayan. Halagay dyan, PayPal account linking is complete. So, pag halimbawa may laman na yung PayPal account nyo, punta lang kayo sa cash in, then under remittance, piliin nyo lang yung PayPal and magre-reflect dapat dyan yung available balance nyo sa PayPal. Enter nyo lang yung amount, next, and mawi-withdraw na siya. So, another way, guys, that you can use, pwede nyo ding gamitan, gamitan ng inyong PayMaya account. For those of you who doesn't know, PayMaya is an e-wallet here in the Philippines that you can use. Mag-sign up din kayo doon. Kailangan nyo ding mag-submit ng mga verification emails. Tapos, once that is um, completed, bibigyan nila kayo ng parang virtual card doon sa inyong PayMaya. And pwede nyo gamitin yun as sa credit card na i-enter nyo dito sa PayPal and pwedeng yun yung gamitin yung withdrawal method. Ayun! So guys, that's just how easy it is to create a PayPal account and use it as your mode of payment for your online transaction. So hindi lang for work at home to, pwede mo din siyang gamitin pang shopping or pwede mo rin gamitin yan to receive any form of payment. So, importante talaga na at least meron kang PayPal account. So guys, I wanted to take this opportunity to thank everyone who has already subscribed to our channel. We've already reached 50,000 subscribers wow. and syempre meron din akong pa-surprise giveaway sa inyo na i-announce natin sa ating Facebook page. So please follow me at facebook.com slash mimiluarka Uh, makikita nyo doon yung Mimi story page natin kung saan nag-share tayo ng mga updates, ng mga videos, and yung mga upcoming um, topics din natin. So, make sure you follow and um, like na din our page. Thank you guys again for watching. I really appreciate it. And I will see you again on our next video. Bye! If you're interested in working from home, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell button so that you're updated whenever I upload a new video.